watching WESH 2. It is an age-old problem for kids dealing with bullies, but mean words and being picked on has taken a new tone thanks to technology. Cruelty can now be delivered with a strike of a button or a keyboard or cell phone. Right here in Central Florida, we've recently seen two cases of students bullied to the point that they take their own lives. Tonight, West Chief's Amanda, Amanda Ober kicks off a week-long series of reports on bullying with a look at how it's changed and who's most at risk. It's hard to comprehend that a child could send such a hateful message to another person as, you should kill yourself. But that kind of bullying is all too real. It's easier to bully than it used to be. Mental health counselor Jim West says over the past decade, bullying has changed. There's more bullying happening, and it seems more vicious because they're not having to face the person saying, I hate you and I hope you'll die. You're actually able to say, you know, more people are bullying because it's easier to do it with electronics, with, with technology. The Florida Department of Education defines bullying as systematically and chronically inflicting physical hurt or psychological distress. When investigating bullying, schools generally look for three criteria. An imbalance of power, intent to cause harm or distress, and harassment that's repeated. Cyberbullies can easily remain anonymous and even create fictitious identities on free messaging apps, including Snapchat, Kick, or Ask FM. Bullies can also post embarrassing videos and photos of their victims on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. That seems to be the trend as we talk with you. Samir Hinduja is a cyberbullying expert. He tells parents rather than get overwhelmed by all the apps that are available, they should focus on having open communication with their child. Many parents want to know whether they should be constantly checking a kid's Facebook page or their phone. And what we really hope for is that over the months and years, they've developed an open line of communication so that the child, if he or she is struggling offline or online, is willing to go to the adult and talk about it. But there will always be kids who won't go to an adult, so parents need to know the facts about bullying. According to StopBullying.gov, bullying is most prevalent in middle school, where 28% of students have been victimized. In high school, the number drops to 20%. And here in Florida, the latest report to the governor from the State Department of Education estimates in 2011, 14% of Florida students were bullied on school property during the past 12 months. 12% 12 of those victims were bullied electronically and overall, 22% of Florida students experience teasing or name-calling because of their weight, size, or physical appearance. The research also shows that most bullying incidents are witnessed by bystanders, other students, teachers, and adults. All too often, those bystanders fail to intervene, fail to stand up and say enough is enough. That is another important way we can all help to stop bullying. Amanda Ober reporting West 2 News. And today we've asked you to weigh in online about the type of bullying going on in your school. And here's a look at the poll that we've been seeing. Uh, all of the above, 53% saying in-person physical from text messaging and so forth. Now you can find a list of resources to deal with bullying. Just head to our website, west.com.